Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. You are appreciated. I don't know what the heck is going on. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light. Okay, I return to source. I return to center. All negative energy, any tent immediately and permanently, any wicked or negative plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, so we have the six of wands out here. So there could have been some type of plan to have someone left out in the cold. So they may not be wanting you to either uh, have stability in your life, something of that nature, but there was some type of plan. People were hoping or trying to have victory over you being at a disadvantage, right? So there could have been a plan to have you either unemployed, uh, homeless, something like that. And this is something a group of people thought of. Um, it was strategic to them. They thought they had everything figured out. But it looks like that's not what's going to be happening. This is something that's been like a recurring, reoccurring theme where there's like this effort to have someone left out in the cold, either a family, a feminine energy, um, whoever. There's a group of people behind the scenes trying to have you, you know, kind of unhinged, living in poverty, living in some type of deplorable state. And you are being watched with the fact that we have the page of source out here. You are definitely being watched. So you, I will be mindful. I'm not saying live in fear. I'm just saying be, be mindful of your surroundings, who you're talking to, uh, what you're saying. Uh, people are like watching you to kind of manipulate whatever it is you are saying. And this is the God honest truth. People are watching you so they can take things out of context. So if maybe someone or a company is interested in working with you, they are recording either your conversation, um, listening to what you're saying, but when they go to trans transmit, translate, transfer the information that they receive from you, they're going to reword it into something else, right? Um, that's because they don't want you thriving forward. They want you to be left out in the cold as far as when it comes to some type of connection, they may be trying to block your creativity, Someone may be trying to compete with you for your own creativity. So if you're someone that's extremely abundant when it comes to either using your hands, your mind, just bringing new things into being, like creating new ideas and things of that nature, like your mind is like a moving wheel. You're always coming up with new things. Someone is maybe stealing your ideas, right? Um, and passing it off as their own. There's a whole lot going on in the background. It's just ridiculous. So someone thought they were going to have victory over you. Basically, if someone or a company saw that you were not stable in life, then they will pass on you. But that's not what's going to happen. People are waking up to this nonsense now. It said, oh yeah, you're saying this about this person, but we're going to look into it. So I think people are not just moving off of the words of other people anymore. It's like they want to know. They want to find things out for themselves, right? That's what is going on. You do have someone that's watching you that is going through some type of healing process, may want to work with you or have some type of uh, connection with you, right? This could be a king of cups that's watching you. If you're a feminine energy, if it's a same-sex relationship, it is what it is. Um, you know, that's love too. We are we all are um, learning, experiencing life in different ways. So it could be a same-sex relationship. It could be a heterosexual relationship, whatever it is. There is someone watching another character. You, this person could be younger than you or you could be younger than this person. But there is something going on where you are being watched. This person is watching you and then there's a group of people watching you as well. And they are quite pissed off that this person is still deciding to come towards you after everything they've shown this person is that we've shown you we've told you this person is not a good option why are you still trying to go to them and this person is just like well i'm gonna go find out for myself who is that uh, uh, uh creator that said uh i'm gonna see for myself that's this person this is this masculine he said i'm gonna see for myself that he's gonna go find out for himself right they want him to come in and gaslight you give you some type of did you just see the yeah i said something about king of cups right here on the bottom 
They want this masculine to gaslight you. They don't want him to give you any type of genuine offer. So if this person is coming towards you, they're possibly telling him, well, maybe you can just go in and have like a one night stand with her. Maybe you can just go in and maybe have some type of a uh, rendezvous or short term relationship. Make it look like make it look like you're sincerely in love with them. And once you get what you want from from them, then you can just trap them and come back to us or come back to me. There's something like that that's going on. Like they're they're really trying not to have this person. Uh oh, be committed to you. They want him to have you waiting, right? Not, re not receiving the fruits of your labor, not getting anything out of the relationship. They want you to be like in this, oh, he's going to do this now. Like if you you two have been talking for like six months or a year uh, and you're expecting this person to propose, they want you to be this, just waiting, waiting, wondering, is he going to propose? Is he going to be staying with me? What's going on? Are we moving in together? Something of that nature like they want him to keep you waiting right yeah they want him to keep you waiting this is going to be you a little bit into the relationship you're like um uh, what happened like the steam is gone the passion is not there anymore um and that's because this masculine if he stays in contact with these people they're going to be in his ear trying to kind of control this union between you and him telling him what to do when to do it all of that is it's crazy it's ridiculous it is just ridiculous this person is not wanting possibly anything to do with these people they are upset because he can see through all of their nonsense their bs he can see through it right they said they're trying to tell him one thing and he's just like yeah i know what you all are trying to do but he's not saying that to them he's just saying yeah i understand what you all are trying to do like i see your motives i see the the reason why you're saying that to me i see the reason why you're doing this i know why you're trying to be nice to me um it's because you you all care more about my money right you want me to invest in you you don't want me to give this offer to this person you know like i'm abundant yeah i'm abundant uh, you are trying to use me for my money and things like that, right? So he's going to be leaving this group out in the cold. He's going to be leaving this. If it's an institution, if it's a family, if it's a relationship, he's going to be leaving it out in the cold and moving on with his life. They are trying to tell him that you are a liability, basically. This is what they're trying to tell this masculine, that if you go to this person, they're a liability. You're going to be doing all this for nothing. As soon as you help them, as soon as they get on their feet, they're going to leave you out in the cold. But that's not true. He knows it's not true. So he's just going to sit quietly, listen to what they're saying, maybe nod his head here and there, respond to, oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. But a brother is still walking away. This brother is still walking away. He said, yeah, 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 yeah. And what did that do? It led to them fighting. <laughs> Let's see, the ancestors are on it. Their humor, I love it. It's like he, he's still walking away. He said, blah, 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 blah. That's probably what this man is saying in his head, listening to these people talk. He's just that blah, 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 blah. Look at these hateful people, so jealous and stuff like that. They're jealous because they don't want this person to have true love. And they know when this person comes towards you, guess what? It's going to be equal give and take. You two are going to be looking out for each other. It's a commitment. It's true love, right? You two are going to be learning together, learning how to take care of each other, how to be loyal to each other. This page of source also has to do with loyalty. So you two are going to be committed to one another, right? People won't be able to interfere with this relationship. And that's why these people are upset that he wants to come towards you because they don't want you two to have that relationship. They know when he comes to you, it's a done deal. There's no more manipulation. There's no more getting money out of him. He, they, they cannot, you know, play with his heart anymore, play on his mental and his emotions anymore. It's a no. You're going to be there to have him cut it out. Tell him like, hey, uh-uh, it's a no. Don't do that. They're taking advantage of you right so they're heartbroken about that they're i'm telling you these people are toxic as heck they are toxic they're going to be heartbroken because this person is still coming towards you still this is you two's justice i'm telling you they know they know this masculine coming towards you is his justice and it's your justice and you are being advised to just stay calm they want this masculine to trap you in their nonsense, but they're seeing that he's not wanting to do that. 
It said maybe for a while he was entertaining whatever it is he was saying to them or what they were saying to him. Like, hey, yeah, this was a collaboration. Hey, you know this person is a loose cause. It's a lost end. Don't go to her. Don't go to him. They're going to trap you. You know, they're going to be a burden on you. They're not honest. They have this. They have that. They're going to get you sick, this and that. And he's just looking like, what in the world is wrong with these people? Like, you all have been doing the same thing for I don't know how many years, how many months. Like, you do know I can see through your BS, right? But yeah, they're painting you off to be someone that's toxic. They are painting you off to be someone that's toxic. But it's not sticking, right? It's not sticking. Someone wants to bring balance into a situation. You're, honey, I'm telling you. You're showing up as someone genuine. So it's that whatever they're saying is not matching up. Two and two are not adding up. The math ain't mathing. The logic ain't logicing. But the hate is hating. These people are hating. Okay? That's what's going on. They want you to be left out in the cold. They want you to be left out in the cold. But the truth is being seen about you. I'm telling you, the truth is being seen about you. You're a powerful manifester. You're focused on your pentacles. You're not worried about what toxic, caring, uh, uh, negative Betty, karmic, caring, negative Nancy, Debbie, Debbie, De 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 Debbie, Debbie. What in the world is that? You're not worried about what these people have going on. You're worried about your pentacles. Building an empire, building a life of your own, nurturing your empire, your families, your life, everything. Whereas these people are so focused on you at this point, it's a sickness, it's a disease. And this is all money and jealousy. That's all it is. Money and jealousy. Nothing more, nothing less. And they thought they were going to keep doing this over and over. I'm telling you, this brother is walking away. Someone is walking away. He's walking away from this toxic environment, toxic relationship, toxic connection. He's going to go for it. Say, uh-uh, I'm, I'm done. I'm not doing this with you all anymore. I'm over it. And they're upset about that. They want this person to see you as unhinged, but you're showing up as someone calm, someone modest, someone brave. It's like they're doing all of this and you're you're just like, oh, okay, do whatever you want to do. And you're just going on about your life. Just going on about your life. Someone in here is doing some type of magic. They don't want you taking care of yourself. I'm telling you, the truth is being seen. Someone knows the truth. Someone knows the truth about you, Collective, and about the characters in this scenario. This person is absolutely keeping their distance away from this person, this group. If it's a marriage, he's keeping his distance. If it's a, a, a COVID, an institution, keeping his distance. He could, Some of you, he could still be working with these people, but mentally, he's not there. Okay? Someone is removing themselves. From toxicity going on to you. Moving away. They're like, I'm done. Someone may be going on a trip. Just getting away. Pronto. Something could be exposed about a queen of pentacles. Honey, a mess. Something is being exposed about a queen of pentacles. She's being seen for exactly who she is. All of her ulterior motives and things of that nature, she's being seen for that. There could have been a queen of pentacles and an empress working together to block this masculine, right? To cloud his judgment about you. Something is being exposed. This could be like his wife and his mother, wife and sister, whoever these are. Something is being exposed about them. I'm telling you the truth is being exposed about these two. Like they've been working together for a long time. He may be uh, distancing himself from them. This could be a mother and a daughter working together on this masculine. So maybe he was married to the, uh, the to the daughter, and the mother and daughter have been work, working him for years. Mental magic manipulations. They've been working him for years, and maybe he's in the know about this now. It's a rude awakening. He knows the truth. What they've been doing. He knows. He said, oh, you all have been, you two have been tag teaming me? Is this what this is? Oh, I got one for you. Yeah, absolutely. 
They're not celebrating with him anymore and cannot confuse him anymore. I'm telling you, this duo, their, their reign is over. They cannot, they should not be expecting any other, anything from him. He's not going to be giving to them. He, he's not dealing with them anymore. Like he's not giving them anything. It's like, I'm done. They can't confuse him anymore. They wanted him to be stuck in his mind and constantly giving to them. They don't like having to work to take care of themselves, but they have to now because this masculine is not going to be given to them. They have fallen in finances, losing a lot of finances and things like that. They may even be losing support. This thing, this three of cups here, they're losing support. They're losing support. People don't want to be friends with them anymore. People see them for who they are. This two of swords is crazy. They're not able to cloud anyone's judgment anymore. I'm telling you, there is clarity about these people. These two women, this organization, whatever this is, there's clarity. People know the truth now. They can't confuse people anymore. Someone has been working a lot behind the scenes to cause manipulations and they can't do it anymore because this is someone that does things rut re routinely. Like they've been doing the same thing over and over. This mother and daughter institution, whatever it is, takes it as it applies or as it fits. But they've been doing the same thing over and over and now it's redundant. People see right through them and say, nah, I don't have no money to give you. Nah, I don't want to go out to eat with you. Nah, I'm too busy. I'm going to be taking my pet for a walk. I don't want to go. I, I can't go out with you today. I got to go walk my centipede. People don't have time for this anymore. Like they've been invested in causing conflict, mind playing mind games and stuff. And they can't anymore. Someone, someone in this group may have reached out to you. If you like do some type of business online, Someone reached out to either you or they pay someone else for clarity. Like they went either to a practitioner to get clarity because they were told that you are someone that's dark and toxic and things were not adding up. This is like someone seeing you or watching you every day. And they're like, this person seems committed to their work. This person seems loyal. This person seems to know what they're doing. But these people are telling me this person does not know what they're doing. Like, it's not adding up. So someone went and paid for clarity. They may have went to a practitioner, and the practitioner told them what was going on. You are being played. This is someone loyal. This is someone committed. This is someone know what they're doing. When you make it to this eight of pentacles, you're a master of your skill, master of your craft. That means you know what you're doing. And they didn't want this person to know that. They didn't want this person to take you seriously. They wanted, wanted him to see you as a joke. And I said, as a liability. Yeah, they wanted him to see you as a joke. Someone that just carefree, careless. Don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what you're doing. You just do things by the wind. They said, oh, you're going to leave my daughter? You're going to leave my daughter to go be with a clown? To be with a joke? Someone that is all lights and love and stuff and they don't even know what they're doing. And he said, you know what? I am just about sick and tired of all this back and forth. I'm going to go find the truth out for myself. And he went, I told you there were secrets. He overcame his fear and went out to find the truth. He knew, he knew, he knows there's ulterior motives and he knows they've been plotting, working together behind the scenes. And the truth has been found out. I'm telling you, the truth has been found out. The universe stepped in, absolutely stepped in, okay? Any type of illusions they've been causing, they cannot cause it anymore. They're not, they can't play mental games with him anymore. They cannot play mental games with him anymore. This person is leaving this toxic union, toxic collaboration. Whatever this is, it's toxic as heck. This is low vibrational. Someone is getting over their addictions and things like that. Like someone drinks heavily. If it's this masculine, he's learning how to heal from there, how to recover. He's taking 
the necessary steps and precautions now to heal and overcome those addictions. Something here about sex addictions and something about drinking, it's a whole lot that they're dealing with and they want him to stay in this low vibrational energy and he's just like, no, I'm tired. His soul is tired. Like his soul is tired because this is not his first rodeo with these characters. This is something that has happened before in other lifetimes. This lifetime, he was supposed to overcome this once and for all. Like get away from these people, get away from this woman, get away from whoever this is. This lifetime, he's supposed to overcome this. It, he doesn't have to end up with you, whoever you are collective, but this lifetime, he needs to heal. He has to heal because his soul is exhausted. It's exhausted. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to heal. He's moving on. He is moving on. Someone here may not be recovering because this person is leaving them. They rely on this masculine for finances or something like that. They may not be recovering once he leaves because they've been manipulating this person for years. And this is how they've been. If I'm telling you, they may not be recovering. They've been manipulating this person for years. This is how they've been able to keep a hold, grab a hold of this masculine. It's trap him. Okay? Trapping him with some type of magic or just a lot of mind games. A lot of mind games. But he's moving on. Someone thought this person would never leave them. There's something here about something about like complexion. This woman thought that she, yeah, why is this coming out as soon as I say complexion? There's something here about complexion. Either this woman found out that this masculine was interested in you and then she saw you, maybe you're of a darker complexion and she's of a lighter complexion or she may be from a different race and she automatically assumed that she was better than you, that you didn't stand a chance against her, but she's finding out that that's not the case. I don't think this masculine cares about complexion. I don't think he cares or if he did in the past, he no longer cares. Something... There's something that has changed in this person. They're going through an awakening. Someone is most definitely leaving. He's leaving. He's leaving a toxic group, a toxic marriage, a toxic union, something. He's leaving. But there's a woman that thinks she's better than another woman because of her race or her complexion. And it's just not doing what she thinks it's doing. He does not care. I'll tell you something. What was it like maybe five days ago I went to bed and I had a dream of this woman following my kids and I around. She was in like in a, in a white white and black outfit. The top was white, the bottom was black. And she's following us around in the dream. She's not saying anything. Anywhere we turn, she's there. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. It was a Caucasian lady, blonde hair, petite. Uh, so I see her and I'm just like, why is this woman following us? But she's not saying anything. So anyway, I wake up and I think like three or four days later, I go to what CVS, I think CVS or Walgreens and my kids and I were minding our business. And who do I see following us around? The woman that I had seen in my dream. And I'm like, honey, you, I don't know you from Adam's or bosom. So I turn around, I look at her, she sees me that you know that I know that you know that I know that you know that I know, right? So we look at each other and I'm staring at her like, yeah, okay, what are you doing here? Like, I just saw you in my dream four nights ago. What? what the, I didn't say anything, but I just looked at her. She knew that I knew and she tries to like kind of play it up. She goes into an aisle so that I can't see her anymore. But I mean, by this point, honey, it's, it's too late. I've already seen you. Okay. So either there's someone that has her friends watching you, following you around, or this is the person following you around, okay? And I just thought it was so weird. And with things happening that quickly, where it's that one night I'm dreaming and seeing my stalker, and then the next, uh, within four days, she's appearing in a store that I'm at, something is about to go down. 
but Kevin Hart says it's about to go down. Something is about to go down or something was about to go down, but there was some type of divine intervention and it's not happening, right? Something was supposed to happen. It's that either people wanted to bring you some type of a uh, uh, problem, but they cannot because there was divine intervention. So now you are about to be receiving victory. Like you're moving forward with your life. Like they didn't want these two people coming together. They didn't want an opportunity going to someone, but you're about to receive that opportunity. People have been doing a lot behind the scenes to interfere, okay? There also could be a situation where there's a wife stalking another feminine energy on behalf of her husband. Like her husband, her husband has been doing a lot behind the scenes. She may not be aware 100% about what her, what, what all her husband has been doing, but she's his partner in crime and they're about both about to be facing legal issues together. Too bad they can't sir, they can't uh be in the same prison cells. But they are about to be having a lot of problems because of things that her husband has been doing behind the scenes. And she too, she could be paying for magic to be sent to someone that she does not even know. You don't know this woman from Adams, just like I don't know my stalker from Adams. Never say hello to this person. Never been around this woman. Don't know nothing about her. And she's stalking me, possibly on behalf of someone else because she's under some type of illusion. But they're about to go through some type of ending. Okay? There was some, like last night, I had a dream. And the fact that this picture of Swords is out here is reminding me of this dream. I don't know, like, who all are watching me. I don't know if there are, I know my platform is not that big, but I do know people share my content. So maybe the platforms they're sharing it on, um, there are possibly maybe celebrities watching on those platforms or watching those videos that they're sharing. But last night, so hold on, let, let me fix this because I dream, I have a whole lot of dreams. So I woke up this morning around like six something and I was like, well, you know, I really don't really have anything to do this morning. Um, I'm just going to lay down. My, my baby had woke up, my four-year-old had woke up. So I changed the baby, went and laid her down, kind of lay next to her so she could fall back to sleep. Um, while I'm laying there waiting for her to fall back to sleep, I had like a vision and in the vision, I saw like a YouTube video title, so out of guardianship. So I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Like someone had named their video that. So I don't know if this is a future thing. The thing that was weird for me is that the so and the out were combined. So it was one word, so out. So it was supposed to be so out of guardianship, but it was so out of guardianship. Like it was one word, but it should be two. So I said, well, that's interesting. So lo and behold, I'm laying there and I'm, I start drifting off and I fall asleep and I'm having this dream and I'm in this house. It's a bunch of people in there. They're workers. They work in this house, right? And this young boy, he's in his twenties, right? He has a thing for one of the workers. And I think the, they work for his mom in this house. But he likes one of the workers. And I'm just watching everything, right? I'm seeing everything. Um, and he likes this worker. But I think she's a little bit afraid because she doesn't know how his family is going to take that. The fact that she works for the family and she comes from a different, back, different background. She doesn't have as much money as they do. She's there like washing dishes at the sink. But the son likes her. Like he actually likes her may have even been in love with her. So all the other workers are around. There are people inside and people outside. And they're talking. And he goes to like hug her from the back. And she's embarrassed. She's kind of terrified. And she's like, there are, there are people watching. Um, they're going to say this or they're going to do that. And he's like, I don't care. I love you. But she has like a strange look on her face. It's like a look of discomfort, right? So I decide to kind of take over her body because I want to know what's going on in her mind. So I take over the lady's body. And when I said this lady was going through anxiety, 
this woman was going through anxiety. It's not that she didn't like the, 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 the guy. It's that she was just so afraid of what the mother was going to say, what the family was going to say. Because it was a mixture of family and workers in this house. And he kept telling her, I don't care what they say. I love you. I want to be with you. Like, I know I can trust you. I know you're going to, you know, be there for me. You'll be loyal to me and things like that. Seeing this picture source is what reminded me of that dream. But he was just so stern. And he goes like he gives her a kiss. But the kiss, it felt physical. Even though I was dreaming, it felt like someone was physically kissing me. And I know they weren't because I was laying next to my four-year-old, remember. Um, but she didn't feel any spark from the kiss. So I think he felt a spark because I felt his energy, but she didn't feel a spark. It just felt like, and that's that's it, right? Um, but I think there's something where there's a, I don't want to call him a boy because he's in his 20s. I think he may be like maybe 25, 26, something like that. Um, he's in his 20s. His mother is under some type of guardianship. Um, but she may be coming out of that some way, somehow. I know how difficult it is for people to come out of those types of situations when they're put in a guardianship, especially by the state. It's extremely difficult for them to come out of that. But the fact that I saw the title of that video saying so out of guardianship, I'm thinking that maybe his mother is the one in guardian under some type of guardianship and she's going to be coming out of it. Or he may be under some type of guardianship that his money is being withheld. But guardianships are usually for people that are old, older, like seniors that don't have any family, or maybe the state doesn't trust the family members around that person to do what's in the best interest of them, so they may put them under, under a guardianship. It's something like that, okay? But it was just a really interesting dream. Once I took over her body, it was just that, oh my lord, lady, I have got to get out because the amount of anxiety and fear, I don't know if she even really was focus on a relationship i think she was just there to work she just wanted to work and get out because the environment that he was doing all of this in with her it was just too much for her she was like i just want to work and go home I don't, like this is her mindset i just want to do my job and go home i don't want any problems um but in the last scene like i saw her like she had left and she was walking home and he seemed worried that she was leaving but she left and went home but it, it was just a strange a strange dream. I say dream in the world card is out here. But there is absolutely something going on. It, and it has to do with loyalty. It has to do with people playing mind games with someone. Someone could not be very stable in their mind. They could be someone that's easy to, to manipulate, which is why all of these people have been able to manipulate him for so long. But I think this is coming to an end. Someone is still going to be taking action to get what it is that they want, to have the relationship that they want. Someone wants to be in a genuine and loving relationship, right? Since the other day I did a reading about a king of pentacles that's doing some type of voodoo behind the scenes. Honey, every time I see the king of pentacles come up in my deck, I'm like, ooh, is it you again? Is it you again, my brother? Are you still doing that shenanigans? But there's absolutely a king of pentacles doing some type of voodoo. He do, she do, could do behind the scenes. We don't do collective because we don't need to. But someone, there's definitely a king of pentacles doing some type of abracadabra behind the scenes to get his way because he wants to have a family with someone and he doesn't think this person is going to accept him for who he is. So he's trying to force things to go his way. Okay. Anyway, let's get back into this reading. Anyway, someone is over the illusions. It's just not working anymore. These two may be falling out with one another. They're like, oh, this is all your fault. If you had just stuck to the plan, you were supposed to go in and say this. Why didn't you just stick to the script? So something, something was found out. There was some type of lie that exposed these two. They may not be friends anymore. They're falling out. Someone may have turned their back on the other friend. There could have been three before. One has turned their back or two have turned their back. There's some type of conflict there going on. But this conflict 
that's going on between them has led to some type of clarity for everyone else that people have been paying behind the scenes for uh, 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 for interferences and things like that. But there is absolutely clarity now about who was involved, who was doing what, who did what, why they did it. Everything is being exposed. And this masculine, as you can see, he's living at COVID. He's living that toxic environment. And he's killing these people. I'm telling you, this five of wands keeps popping up. These people are fighting amongst themselves. They said, it was you. No, it was you. It was not me. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Yes, you did. You did have something to do with it. You were the one who told me where they live. And you were the one who gave me their phone number. You were the one who told me to steal their mail. It's a whole, whole lot of back and forth, right? They're determined. They're going to keep lying, even though everything is exposed. They're going to keep lying because that's just how karmics are. That's what karmics do. They're sending a lot of energy towards someone, either you collective or this masculine. Whatever energy they're sending is just not happening. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. It's not giving what it's supposed to give or what they want it to give, okay? At all, at all. Lord have mercy. It's a lot of emotions going on. I've seen that heart, that three of uh, 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 three of swords pop up a lot. It's a lot of emotions going on behind the scenes. And you may not even be aware, collective, that all of this is going on. That you're just going on about your life, blase, blase, probably just working, maybe studying. Some of you may be in school with the spiritual source out here. Just maybe just focusing on your family and things like that. And these people are fighting amongst themselves. Going through endings and things like that. And you're just like... La -di -la -di -da, da -da 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 -da. It's like, oh. How come we're the ones going through all of this chaos? Yes, these people cannot steal from you, Starcy. <laughs> there was a whole plan to have someone come in and rob someone. Either of your money, your life, something. They wanted to tear your family apart, like your stability, your comfort. They don't want you to be happy. They want to get a reaction out of you, but they cannot. Someone, a whole group of people had a plan to send someone in to steal from you. They wanted to steal your joy, that peace that you have. You see how peaceful this lady is? They wanted to steal your peace from you. They said, why are you so peaceful? We've, we're don't, we've done everything and we're doing everything to destroy you. You should not be this peaceful. What is wrong with you? You need to be angry. You need to be miserable. We want you to be miserable. And you're just like, oh, okay. Do whatever you want. It'll be returned to me. Whatever you're, you think you're stealing is going to be returned to me 10 times full because that's how Source has it set up for me. Okay, yeah, they can do whatever they want. You're still going to be moving forward. You're in charge of your destiny. They're not in charge of theirs because they're attached to this. They are attached. I'm telling you, you're still abundant. They thought they're going to come in and steal from you, steal your money, steal your abundance, steal something. But some of you people see you in this energy when you're out, and I'm just being honest. People see you in this energy when you're out and about. They think you have a lot of money. So they may have been planning to come in and steal from you only to find out you don't have money. So it's like they did all of this planning for nothing. And for some of you, they were coming in to steal your money. You do have money, but they cannot. Because Source said, absolutely not. Go get your own money. Go get your own money. You are not coming around my star scene or this fake friendship there there was a woman in here sent to form some type of false friendship with someone and it's not happening this person thought if they were nice to you you know said all the right things these are people that are into dark work dark energy the group behind her knew that you didn't want anything to do with them if they tell you who they are, let's say they send you a chat or something, a DM, and they tell you, hey, this is Maria from, you know, the company from AAB. We used to work together. I haven't seen you in a long time. They know you're just going to look at that message and possibly delete it and move on with your life. So they train a new person that you've never met before. You don't know nothing about. 
and they created maybe a, a profile, maybe contacting you on social media, trying to act like they're your friend and you see right through them. Some of you, this is someone pretending to be someone else. They don't want you to know this could be like a masculine that has created some type of fake profile pretending to be a feminine energy, but it's a masculine behind there. If you are intuitive, you know, you know something is up. You're just like, oh, okay, this is what we're doing now. I'm telling you, they're fighting. There was some type of fight that either took place over the weekend. Something, something happened. It was divine intervention. They said, I'm still going to go and do it. The stealing. I'm still going to go and steal from them. No, we can't. And then for some of you, the person they hired to do the stealing said, uh-uh, I'm not doing that. Why can't y'all do it? Why wouldn't you do it? You want me to steal from them so bad. How come you can't do it? And they're like, well, nothing's coming out. Nothing's coming out. Because they know what the consequences are for stealing from this energy. They won't tell the person they're hiring, but they know what the consequences are. They know that, that a whole group could have been collaborating to steal from a masculine energy. And this is a betrayal because this could have been someone that was working with them before. Or this is a masculine energy that was supposed to be coming towards an, a feminine energy or is coming to a feminine energy. And because they don't want this masculine coming towards you, they want to deplete him of his finances. So when he comes to you, he has nothing to offer. But if you are someone that's in this energy, truly, truly in their energy, you don't care what, how much money someone has. What you care about is their character, who they are as a person internally and mentally and spiritually. So it doesn't matter if they come to you with $2, if they are genuine, you already know you two are going to end up having millions because you'll be working together. You, you're on the same page with things, right? But someone is going through betrayal. Someone, for some of you, someone could be going through betrayal because they betray you. So it's their karma. They're getting a taste of their own medicine. Someone went back and told them, uh, listen, this person you told me to watch, uh, this is a high priestess. This is not someone that's faking it. They know what they're talking about. This person you have me watching, they actually know the business they're talking about. Their product is actually genuine. Like they actually know their product. They actually made their product. It's different for all of you. And this person you have me watching in this nine to five, they actually work. They do show up to work and do what they're supposed to do. They're not BSing around. It's a whole lot of different scenarios going on. But just know that whoever they sent to watch you is giving them the full one one that they do not want to hear. It's like, no, that's, that's not what we wanted you to tell us. We wanted you to tell us that this person was lazy. This person was lying. They were pretending to be something they're not. It's like, uh, no, this person is actually genuine. This person is actually genuine. Yeah, this friendship is over. Someone is moving on. They're like, mm -mm. nope, I'm done. I am done. All of these people could actually be going their separate way. They're scattering like roaches. You turn on the, turn on the lights, sources like, and it was all gone. So we're out of here. Nothing here to see, source. Nothing here to see. Keep that light to yourself. We're not ready to come into the light. They are on the move. Someone, I'm telling you, there's a feminine energy in here that is not, that does not, she does not want to be part of this group anymore. Whoever this sent to befriend you is moving on. She does not want to be part of this friend group anymore because she knows the truth. Someone is moving on to heal. Someone has either fallen in love either with someone they were sent to watch or they maybe they're, they're starting to find love for themselves. 
because they don't want to participate in low vibrational energies anymore. Something of that nature. They either fell in love with you, King, Queen of Wands, uh, Empress, Collective. Someone was watching you and fell in love with you. Now they don't want to partake in the nonsense that they were sent to do. They don't want to partic participate in this anymore. They don't want to be friends anymore with these people. It's like, I'm moving on. Like, I'm tired. Uh, like, I, 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 I want to go and, co and connect with this collective, with this star seed. It's like, uh, yes, this star seed don't want to connect with you. You stay over there. You have karma to pay. You have debt that you owe. We're glad you are going to the other side. You're coming. Come into the light, Caroline. We're glad you're coming into the light, Caroline, but go this way. Not to the collective. Not to the collective. Yeah, I'm telling you. Mm, 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 mm. Why Caroline is coming into the light? Someone else is trapped, is stuck. Someone is going through sorrows. Someone took some type of action that led to disappointment. It's like they thought they had it all figured out. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go say this. They're going to let me in their home. I'm going to steal this. I'm going to go in. I'm going to uh, 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 sugarcoat things. I'm going to gaslight them. And they're going to fall in love with me. And Sora said, eh, eh, try again. I'm going to go in. I'm going to give them some money. And they're going to trust me. They're going to think I'm giving. And they want to get their inheritance. They're going to share with me. Sora said, wah, 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 try again. <sighs> you know what? Let me go back to the drawing board. Folks, gather around. Let's gather around this table. We must come up with a new plan because nothing we've done is working. Okay, I have a plan. Wah, wah, wah. I have a plan. Wah, wah, wah. Nothing's, nothing's working. Someone took some type of quick action to come in to steal, but it did not go according to plan. They were disappointed. Either someone got blocked, Someone could not enter your home. I'm telling you, someone was coming to guess. Like, this is the Knight of Cups. Someone got blocked. They were coming in to get some type of foolish love offer. Trap you in something that you had no business being trapped into. And it's not working. Someone left their, the comfort of their home. I'm telling you, they're coming in to this arterial motive. Um... Someone left the comfort of their home to come into your energy and it's it didn't go according to plan. Someone has gone broke paying for things they shouldn't be paying for. Lord have mercy. Collective star scene. My goodness. You are stepping into like a different energy in each part like you are freaking in your emperor energy like you don't hear what these people are doing you're like i wish a mother ever would and these people may be terrified of you because you know what they are who they are what they do like when you see them they may be smiling but you know the truth about them and i told you they're afraid of you because you know the truth about them there's an emperor that's burdened because of what you know. There's an emperor that's burdened because they cannot trap you in nothing. They trap themselves so they cannot come towards you because you know what this person does behind the scenes. And this was your justice for it to be revealed to you. You were removed from these people for a reason. Absolutely. You were removed for a reason. Sometimes people think numbers, numbers is powerful. But if you show up in this energy, it don't matter how many people are coming up against you. You're destined to win. And this energy here, mm -mm -mm. this was a miscalculation. 
they thought they had it figured out. Someone thought they had won. But this emperor, I'm not getting a good feel about him. You're you're here because you took charge of your life. You are playing the emperor in your life, which is a good thing. So people can't come in and tell you, hey, remember how you owe me $10,000? I need you to go and do this. You don't owe people nothing. So they can't come in and boss you around or play you like a puppet. So you you have charge over your life. You're laying down the law. Is that if I tell you don't call me, don't call me. If you call me again, blocked. Don't come in my energy. I don't want nothing from you. Stay over there. No animosity. I just don't give a crap. Stay over there. There's no reconciliation between you and I. Right? So you're just laying down the law in your life. But there's an emperor in here. This person is going through a lot of disappointments. Someone trapped themselves in something they should not have partaken in and it has come back to hunt them. He has lost a lot of money. He took some type of drastic action possibly in the past and it led to a loss for him. Someone was guided by spirit to not do something. This person is not dumb, but it may just be someone that's desperate for money or desperate for control. And he was impulsive. He said, I'm going for it. And he went for it. And he lost a lot. Now he's worried. He's burdened. Having a lot of anxiety. He don't know how he's going to make it through this. Like someone has lost a lot. A whole lot. I don't know if they're going to recover. They may not be recovering. So can you please give us one last card? Yeah, it's an end. It's an end for this person. This emperor is an end. Their chapter is over. Someone is about to be in some step of chapter where they're going to be struggling for money. Like he has been very abundant in life. It's been brought to an end. He has to go through this humbling experience. He has to end this chapter to start a new one. But it's necessary because there's something with his mind. The way he viewed things in people. He's very money focused. Someone possibly had a contract with you. But they didn't... Um, what is the word? They didn't fulfill their end of the contract. There's a word I want to use. But it's not coming to my mouth. To my mind. Like, they didn't obey the, the contract. Something like that, right? They deviated from the contract. Someone may have even been aware that they had a contract with you, but the money was too good to turn down. Someone said that you were alone, and they said, oh, well, this, I'm not really going to gain anything from partnering up with this person. So I might as well participate in stealing from them, stealing their energy, stealing their wealth, stealing whatever it is they were stealing from you. And Soros was sitting back like, oh, okay, so this is what you're doing out here, huh? I told you to partner up with this person and you're choosing to steal from them? Okay. Now he's stuck, barely making it, maybe pinching pennies. But there's another emperor you're going to be partnering up with. And I'm just saying emperor, but you know energy is fluid and terrible. People can be in their emperor energy one minute for a reason. The next minute they're in a king of cups energy. And the next minute they're in a king of wands, king of swords, whatever energy they need to be in. But there's an emperor that's going through some type of ending. May not be able to recover because he has to go through some type of lesson in order to finish this chapter completely. It's going to be a hard one for him. But he'll learn the lesson. He'll, he's going to come back out on the other side, brand stinking new. He may have fallen from grace, something like that. Okay? But you're going coming out of a tumultuous time collective for uh, some of you, or uh, a lot of you. You're coming out of some tumultuous time. You're going to be receiving some type of message about your abundance or someone wanting to work with you or some type of promotion, some type of elevation in life. 
right? And it's going to put you in a beautiful energy where you don't have to worry about living in deplority anymore, right? You may be receiving some type of love offer from someone, and you, you're going to have to take time to think about that one. Because there's someone that wants to send you a love offer, but I don't think this is someone you're interested in. For some of you, there's a woman that has feelings for another woman. But the person she has feelings for is not into women. Um, so the, you, you two can't really come together because how are you going to be with someone you're not interested in? Like you're not into the same sex, right? So that's kind of weird. I'm not saying like being being uh, I don't I'm not saying same sex relationships are weird. I'm just saying like if you're not into that and someone's trying to offer it to you, that's weird. Like you know I don't like you like that. So why are you trying me? Right? It's one of those. They're gonna have to move on. They're gonna have to move on from you, from this collaboration with these people. Celebrating with there's no celebration going on. The celebration is over. The celebration is over. These people are not celebrating anymore. Okay? Like some, something I'm getting, someone is like so disappointed because you see things for exactly what it is. Like your mind is sharp. Sharp. You see things for exactly what it is. You see people for who they are. They're walking around with a mask, but it's kind of pointless to be walking around with a mask because you see each person for who they are, what they did, you know why they did it. So they can't come in and cloud your judgment. Like all the confusion is over. Someone thought they could have a new beginning with you. They cannot because they know what you, what they, because you know what they participated in. So it's a waste of time for them to come into your energy pretending to be something that they're not. You already know the 411. And that person is a 911. Right? Like you're busy manifesting a new reality for yourself, a new life. While these people are going through disappointments, having to move on. Like they're li literally being forced to move on. Wow. Let's do our angel number. Like karma, karma has been being served heavily to people this year and coming up as well. He said, oh, you've had 20 years to get this right, to change your path, to do right, and you're still out here doing the same thing at 56. You're still out here doing the same thing at 42, at 50, at 60. You want to tell me you haven't learned anything yet? You've been low vibrational for all these decades, and you haven't learned nothing yet that is not working out. Really? Okay. What about we just take those little coins away that you have? Let's see what you're going to be using now to cause havoc in other people's lives. Now you can't even take yourself to a movie because you got to worry about the bills. Someone here, what I just heard, someone here has been benefiting off of, off of another person uh, disadvantaged for years. It's like they've been stealing from you, living off of you in some way, some, some ship. Some way, somehow, someone has been benefiting from, from you living in poverty or like. And it's over. It is over. There's a couple that's being exposed and it's not with this message. But there is a couple, a very toxic couple, that has been stealing from someone. Either some type of identity theft, something that has to do with taxes, something of that nature. They've been stealing and they're about to be... They're getting served. They're going to get served with some papers. They're going to court. The woman in here is going to say, oh, honey, please don't sue us. Sue them. Sue them. They've been stealing from you for years. Sue them. This is a black couple that's about to go through this. And this is a karmic couple. Toxic as can be. When you see them in public, 
They act like they're they are the ideal couple, but this is a common couple. They fight behind the closed doors. These are the couples when they argue, they're calling each other the F words, B word, M efforts, and all kind of stuff. But when you see them in public, you wouldn't think that they would kill a fly. But they're toxic as can be. And they've been stealing. There's something some type of forgery going on with taxes, identity theft, something like that. There, there was some type of plan for a group to come in and separate a family, either a mother and children or, or, or a, 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 a father and children. They were coming in to separate you all, that they were going to call CPS on you for some ridiculous reason, but that plan was interve intervened with by source. They said, nah, I don't think so. We're not doing that. You want to be in a broken home, you can stay in your broken home. But this family's happy and they're gonna stay together. So whatever plan they were coming up with is not coming into fruition. Someone is not, your, your kids are not gonna be taken away from you. Like I literally saw that in a dream. Someone called CPS, the police showed up at someone's house. It was a white, uh, um, what are those, those impellas that the police drive? It was a white impella with blue words on there. It said police on there in blue, like this shade blue right here. Okay, it said, it said police on there. And I see someone like ripping a child out of the mother's hand and they're trying to put the mother in a police car because she had been framed for something. But then immediately their their source stepped in somewhere somehow and the mother and child were reconnected and the mother was holding on to her child so tightly like she didn't care about her having to be locked up but the fact that she was going to be losing her kid was what was burdening her but the fact that they were reunited like immediately like i'm telling you there was some type of in intervention it was at one second they were ripping the mother and child away. The next second they were back together. So that was Source saying like, nope, this plan is not going to be taking place. This mother and child will be staying together. She's not going to jail. She's not going to prison. And this child is not going anywhere else but with the mother. And there were a whole group of people around when the child and mother were being separated. They were celebrating. They were happy and things like that. That's how you know it was planned. It was planned. But then when the when the mother and child came back together, the look on their faces all changed. It's like they were celebrating. Yes, we've destroyed them. And it's just like, how are you all happy about something like that? Like you have to know deep down that something is wrong with you when you are okay with planning to separate a child from their mother and being happy at seeing their misery for being separated. Something has to be wrong with you. But why they were trying to do this because they had something to hide. It's a secret, it's a lie that's going on and these people are committed to keeping that lie going on. This is why they were so happy that the mother and child were finally separated, but it's not gonna happen. I'm telling you, source stepped in. It was at one second, it wasn't even a full second. It was at, huh? Separation and I'm back together. Source was like, nope, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, yeah. Fresh start, new beginnings. Thank you, Source. It said, angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay focus inward through meditation and prayer i am observant so that is a message for someone out there and we can all take heed to it as well listen to your intuition if you are being guided to do something do it stop second guessing yourself it may not make sense to you at the moment that you are being told to do it but there is a reason why source is telling you to do that why your angels your ancestors are telling you to do that it's because there's something going on that you are not aware of in there by you taking the action they're telling you to do that is you being proactive 
responding, telling the universe that you want them to act on your behalf, that you are listening, you want to work with them, you want to co-create with them. So whatever action they are telling you to take, please take that. Go within and listen, okay? But thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Be sure to come back and watch the YouTube channel again. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.